Hi, I'm Doug Cushman. I'm a painter and illustrator author of children's books. Welcome to my watercolor technique series. Today we're going to talk about paper for watercoloring. One of the papers that I use is a block of paper, which is the arches. It's my, my favorite paper. A watercolor block is actually 20 sheets of paper glued together in one large format. Most beginners will use a block as is, set it up on their easel and paint. I find that there's too much sizing in a watercolor block. Now the sizing is the glue or the binder that keeps the paper together, holds its shape. The sizing repels the paint too much. So what I like to do is remove each sheet as I use it and wet it down before I mount it on my board. Okay, I'll be cutting the paper from the block now. So I take my knife, insert it in between two of the sheets like this and just slowly and carefully cut the paper from the block itself. You can use just the handle of a brush or a pencil, perhaps. I find the knife works a little bit better because it's thinner and makes the job just a little easier. And there is my full sheet of paper. Okay, I'll take my big piece of cardboard here Take the paper I just cut off of the watercolor block and I'll tape it like this onto the board. It doesn't have to be anything fancy here unless there is a certain size that you are after for your painting. I like a nice flat surface when I work. And this gives me a nice large flat surface to work on for my watercolor. And there it is. Okay, I'll take my sponge now. Uh, make sure it's a clean sponge. You don't want any dirt or anything on your watercolor paper. And I just wet it. Just make it damp. It doesn't have to be soaking. This is just to get some of the sizing off of the paper. Sometimes I'll use just a clean rag or paper towel. Okay, this is done. Uh, it should be just damp. It doesn't have to be soaked. So I'm finished with the rubbing down of the paper. All I need to do now, just let it dry um, until it's it, it bone dry. I'll put it in front of the window or just let it air dry until it's completely dry. The alternate way is to use a full sheet of watercolor paper. This is a full sheet of arches. And this is the size you use where you can read the watermark. There's less sizing in the paper itself, so it's easier to work with. I can remove the step of preparing the paper with the water, just cut it, mount it on the board, and that's all. Okay, I've got my half sheet of watercolor paper, and all I need to do now is just put it onto the board itself. This is just a regular uh, two by or a piece of uh, plywood that I'm using. There are about two, three different ways that I can mount the paper. Uh, the easiest way is to just take some simple clips, clip them onto the board. and it's ready to go. I hope I've given you some 
helpful hints for your own watercolor painting. You have a great time. 